Hey guys, welcome to the Super Up Post Show where we talk all things Marvel, DC, and Star Wars. And today, I want to talk to you guys about some stuff regarding Spider-Man and the Into the Spider-Verse film because there are some rumors that have been going around, so I want to address them and tell you guys some of my theories regarding them. So, obviously, um, Into the Spider-Verse 2 is coming out very soon and there has been, you know, a bunch of rumors about what Spider-Man are going to be in it. So first, I'm going to read off all of the Spider-Man that are rumored to be in this film, okay? So... We have Miles Morales, obviously. Then we have Spider-2099, Spider-Man Peter B. Parker, Spider-Gwen, Scarlet Spider, Spider-Punk, uh, I can't pronounce that one, but it's a Hispanic one, Spider-Woman, Cyborg Spider-Woman, Spider Spider-Man Noir, Spider-Ham, and then on the, the next page, MCU Spider-Man, Spider-Man India, Insomniac Spider-Man, Spider Cat, Spider Man, Peter Three, Spider Man Peter Two, Spider Man Nineties, and the spectacular and the spectacular Spider Man. So I'm going to read the rumor to you guys, and then we're just going to go over it, okay? MCU Spider Man and PS4 Spider Man are in the Spider Man Across the Spider Verse movie, although it it is not known whether Tom Holland MCU or Yuri Lowenthal PS4 will be voicing their versions of the character it is reported that mcu slash ps4 spider-man character in the film and the one from the previous mcu ps4 installments are the same there is an estimated number of at least 20 spider variants in this upcoming sequel some of these variants might be a cup might be a couple spider-man fan favorites all right so there has there has been discussions about incorporating Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man as a cameo, although it's not confirmed whether they will be added in for for Across the Spider-Verse or be saved for the next sequel beyond the Spider-Verse. Similar discussions have taken place for Josh Keaton and Christopher Daniel Barnes potentially to reprise their roles from the Spectacular Spider-Man and the 90s animated Spider-Man series. So... With all that being said, you know, there are rumors that they're basically bringing back every single animated Spider-Man that ever existed, okay? And obviously, that's a win in my book. But, you know, I was expecting, you know, that we were going to get, you know, more Spider-Mans in this, like, exact film. I wasn't expecting to kind of see Tom Holland, Garfield, or even Maguire's Spider-Man coming back into this film. And honestly... Uh, kind of like what the rumor said, I think it would be better if we can save, you know, a big reveal like that for the third, for the for third Spider-Verse um, film, because, you know, I just think that it will be a better payoff, you know, when it's the third film rather than going balls deep, like all in on your only the second movie. But I do believe that there is a reason why they are shopping this idea or why they did this. Um, and I do have a theory regarding like um, the whole idea of live action Spider-Man coming into the in the Spider-Verse film. So here is my theory. So my theory is what if in this film, right, Miles goes from the animated universe to the SUMC or he goes from the animated universe that he's in into the MCU. It, it just it makes me think, you know, what if this film could possibly do two things, okay? I think that they can either go two ways with this whole live action um, Spider-Man thing. The first one is either you can go from the animated, as I said, right, to the SUMC or the MCU, or we could do like a whole entire scene, kind of like how, if you remember in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, they were kind of bumping through universes and stuff where he became animated and all of this jazz. What if we get a glimpse of Miles in the real world so we don't get an animated version of Miles, we see a real human version of him and we see actually who they have casted as Miles Morales and they plant that seed where we might get one second of who was cast just to plant the seed that a live more action that a live action Miles Morales is coming I think that it has the potential to do that now I think it would be crazy I mean if I was the directors I would try this but it's probably not going to happen now it would be wild if like the end of the Spider-Verse film, we go from animated Miles to just a straight live action, and then, then the third one is a live action Miles Morales Spider-Man film. Now, that'll be wild. Now, I don't really think that that's happening. I think they're kind of going to save that to do with Tom Holland and his final films. I think that that torch is going to be passed down that way. But, I mean, it still is a possibility that that could happen, even if it's, you know, still a reach. But, 
you know, I do think that having live action characters in the Spider-Verse uh, movie opens that door for that type of collab crossover to be able to kind of jump between both uni uni universes, you know? So, yeah, that's kind of my theory on regarding the whole live action Spider-Man coming into the Spider-Verse film and all this stuff. But at the, end of the, at the end of the day, I do think it is a it is a W great move to have the Spider-Man. But I do think that we should save, like, everyone the whole gang for the third uh spider-verse film i don't think you should go all out on the second one unless maybe that third one is a live action with all the spider-man what about that <laughs> that is popped in my head now what if the third one is a live action film with all, every single spider-man character you know because we are getting madam web as well what if this is linking to that you know i don't know what they're doing but tell me what you guys think about that and just leave something in the comments about what you think and, or, or about what road they're going to go, right? So before you do anything, guys, like and subscribe and click the notification bell so when I post a video on YouTube, you guys know. And, you know, we are on Instagram at The Super Repo Show, TikTok at Stevie Hayes. Follow me and we can get the show going, all right? Peace.